All right, creatures of the vertebrate world, which one of you guys digests food the fastest? If you think you got what it takes, please raise your wing, paw, or flipper. So this is a question I see a lot on the internet. Which animal has the fastest digestion? And most of the time someone just chimes in with a quick answer like, eh, probably a hummingbird. And that's a great guess, but let's unpack the question a bit first. What we're talking about here is gut transit rate, the time it takes for consumed matter to travel plate to potty, mouth to sphincter. And secondly, we're talking about metabolism here, the process of turning food into energy. Now most of our research into gut transit rate relates to vertebrates, so we're going to limit our discussion to organisms with a proper spine. A specific species species digestion rate is going to vary depending on their environment, their diet, as well as whether you're talking about liquid or solid waste. So we're going to be dealing with general numbers here. For humans, total digestion time is going to take anywhere between 24 and 72 hours. And according to the Mayo Clinic, you're looking at a 53 hour average no matter what. Now obviously we're not going to win the digestion race, and neither are reptiles or large herbivores, both of which tend to really take their time when it comes to processing their food. So let's line up some speedy digesters at the starting line. We've got the Norwegian rat the ring-necked pheasant, the elephant shrew, the rufous hummingbird, and finally the cedar waxwing. Gentlemen, start your digestive systems and they're off! So who wins the race? Well, according to the stats, the rat poops it all out at 13 hours, the pheasant at the 5 hour mark, and the speedy elephant shrew at 3.4 hours. And who wins between the hummingbird and the waxwing? Well, despite having the speediest metabolism, the hummer's 0.8 hour gut transit rate isn't quite enough to win the race. According to stats recorded in Comparative Physiology of the Vertebrate Digestive System by C. Edward Stevens and E. N. D. Hume, the cedar waxwing poops itself into first place with a mere 0.7 hour gut transit rate. And why is this? Well, according to a 1991 study published in the American Naturalist, the berry-eating waxwings actually separate pulp from seeds and defecate the indigestible seeds well in advance of the pulp. Either way you look at it, birds definitely went out in the race, and that's because the high energy costs of powered flight demand a very high metabolism. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and ask it, what about you? What's the fastest gut transit rate you've personally experienced? Where does it fall in that 24 to 72 hour range that we talked about earlier. Let me know. I'd uh, love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below and be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you.